What I like to do is show you guys how to find an equation of a line given two points. So pretty much what I'm asking is, I want to find the equation of a line that goes through these two points. So if I'm thinking about this visually or graphically, I could say, well, I don't know what to say, Ms. McGlogan, but if I wanted to graph these, I'd say negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up 3, somewhere right around there, and 0, negative 7 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So one way I would cheat is I could say, well, Ms. McGlogan, I know negative 7 is the y-intercept. And I can also say, what's the slope? Well, I'm going from left to right. I have to go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I have to go down negative 10. So I can say the slope is uh, over 5, down negative 10, which is a negative <coughs> To the right, change in rise over run. Otherwise, slope <coughs> is your change in y, which is down how far? Which would be down 10 over 5 to the right 5, which is a negative 2 over 1. There you go. So essentially, if I wanted to write the equation, I'm going to show what the answer is y equals a negative 2x minus 7. Okay? Yes, thank you. So, um, if I was just going to do this on the graph, I could find out what the equation was. However, we're not asking this. We're asking, I want to show you guys a way algebraically to find it. So, a lot of times you're not going to have something that's easy to graph, so you're going to have to use algebraic methods. So, the first method I'm going to show you in this video is using the slope formula which we completed before, which was y1 minus, or y2 minus y1, and x2 minus x1. So, when I want to find the slope between these two points, I'm given two points. Now remember, each point has a coordinate, x and y. And the way that we like to differentiate between our x's is we just give them little subscripts. It really means nothing more than just saying this x is different from that x. They're both x's, but they're just different coordinates, right? They're different points. So all I do is I plug this into my formula to find my y-intercept. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm plugging my y-intercept, which is our y2. So I do a negative 7 minus y1, which is 3, over x2, which is 0, minus a negative 5. Negative 7 minus 3 is a negative 10 over positive 5, which equals a negative 2 over 1. So therefore, my m, which is equal to my slope, is equal to a negative 2 over 1, which is equal to negative 2. Now, a lot of times what we have to do is we have to find out what our y-intercept is. And our y-intercept, remember, is b. So fortunately, on this problem, I have, I've, given, I've given you guys the y-intercept. Because you know this is automatically the y-intercept, because the y-intercept is always what your y-value is when x equals 0. Right? So our y-intercept is equal to negative 7. However, another way you can figure it out is, if you guys remember, if I already know what a point is and I know what the slope is, I can say y equals uh, a negative 2x plus b. I don't know what b is, and I don't know what x and y are, but I can use one of these points. So I'll use a point, and I'll use that point to give me 10. Which confirms that b equals negative 7. So now when I finally want to write this equation, I get y is equal to a negative 2x minus 7. Notice my equation, it still has an x and a y. Because it, remember, a line is an infinite set of points. It's an infinite set of x's and y's. However, the slope and the y-intercept are always going to remain the same. So that's why we write our equation in that form. And that is how you find the equation given two points. Yeah. That's a good one.